levee runs right in the middle of two canals and I've seen some good snake tracks there. And we're going to try to see if we can uh, find some, some pythons. Pythons, an invasive species here in the Florida Everglades where pet owners will often dump their snakes once they get too big or the pythons are escapees from nearby reptile farms. Either way, South Florida has a big problem with these very big snakes. Burmese pythons can grow 30 feet long and eat a six-foot alligator. Officials say there are tens of thousands of them in the Everglades. Now, hunters like George Guterres are being allowed to go after these constrictors. You look for changes in color, you look for shapes that don't fit in with the rest of the vegetation, you look for things that just seem out of place. To help get rid of the snakes, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is letting sportsmen hunt them on 700,000 acres of state land next to the Everglades National Park. This looks very, you know, snakish. Alligators prey on small snakes but are no match for a full-grown python. There are nine different species of invasive constrictors loose in the Everglades, including green anacondas, reticulated pythons, and rock pythons, all big snakes with no natural enemies. They not only compete with native panthers and alligators for food, but also prey on some critically endangered species like storks and wood rats. Fortunately, last winter's cold snap reduced the population by an estimated 40 to 50 percent. While we're fortunate to have had this cold weather, we know that there are still many pythons out there that are breeding and having babies. Since 1980, about one million constrictors have been shipped to the U.S., and the Department of the Interior says domestic breeders have raised at least that many for sale as pets. Two Florida congressmen want to ban the big snake trade. You got to keep looking everywhere and under everything because you never know when they're going to be there or what you're going to find. In 10 years, wildlife experts have caught and killed about 1,200 pythons in Everglades National Park, where most of the invader snakes have taken up residence. But sportsmen like Guterres are not allowed to hunt there. We need access and we need firearms, the ability to go in and take care of the problem and be part of the solution. When he's not hunting snakes, Guterres is a personal injury lawyer with the ever-present Blackberry. Yeah, the guy's getting deposed next week and uh, we're in good shape. Guterres has had better luck finding clients than pythons. Other hunters are coming up empty too. For the six-week season ended in April, hunters did not report a single snake kill to the State Fish and Wildlife Commission. There are snakes that are crossing over here from Everglades National Park, but uh, you're going to have a lot better chance of, of, of controlling the population if you go south. A gravid female python can lay 100 eggs, and Florida officials have done the math. They will extend the season next year from six weeks to six months. For Assignment Earth, this is Bruce Burkhardt.